Name another podcast like Boss this. Talk. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss Talk. Ooh. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss Talk. We gonna do it how you want it. Boss Talk. Yo. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss Talk. Yeah. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. This is Unique Hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none, you know, my dad. Walk on. Man, listen. But y'all don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. We are on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. You name it, we're on it. But we just started doing Patreon, so y'all got to go subscribe to our Patreon platform because that's the only place you're going to find our full-length interviews after a while. Y'all not going to find it on YouTube no more. You only can find it on Patreon. And let me tell you, it is so like affordable, you will not be able to believe it. Y'all love us, y'all should be able to do that first. Thank you in advance. Love y'all. Man, hey man, guess who we got in here, y'all, today? Guess what? He here. The man, the legend. <laughs> yeah, the movie star. <laughs> the television guy. I've been seeing this cat right here. He working. And and I'm very, very proud to be affiliated with this cat, man. The guy who answers the phone when I call. Facts. Yeah. The guy who keeps it 100 from day one. From the day I started talking to him and told him, do not text me, nigga. I'm old. <laughs> Solo Lucci is in the building. <laughs> yes, How you sir. doing, man? Man, I'm doing good. I'm doing great. I can't complain. That's good. Man. What about yourself, man? And you I'm always, doing great. And I see you always working. When I look, first of all, I was looking you up on Instagram like between yesterday and today. Did they take your Fuck page again? Instagram, man. I'm they sick took of your page again, Instagram didn't they? Instagram so sensitive, man. First of all, I don't even know why. I think, I, you know what? I think my baby mama didn't be reporting my page. <laughs> you think so? At this point, I think my baby mama. So you didn't do nothing. Oh, not all of them. <laughs> not <laughs> no, all I'm talking like, on your page. Nah, nah, nah. I didn't do nothing. I think it says something like, I don't know, it blocked me from Facebook and Instagram. Really? And it sent me a message like, send a picture of your ID so we can verify that you are old enough. Like somebody reported me for being, being under. too young. I don't know what the hell going so on. So did you do it? I sent it like seven times. It's still telling I think because my Facebook is under Solo Lucci, my ID don't say Solo, Solo Lucci. Lucci. So it's like, but how they going exactly. people is like a rap name. Exactly. So like, I'm stuck, man. If anybody can help me, I need some help. So you gonna start over another page again? Nah. You say screw it. If I start another page, it's gonna be like based towards something else, like my acting career or like right. you know uh, entertainment or memes or something, because that's where you getting paid for the mm -hmm. reels and stuff anyway. Mm -hmm. You're right, yeah. and they've been changing it up because even YouTube, YouTube been changing things up since 2023. They say it's been changing up since November last year, but it's really since this year. But man, everything changes. It's gonna have to be a new platform soon because all of them, you know, people catching on. Yeah, people getting savvy to this internet and mm -hmm. to the you know how to monetize their stuff, and they catching on and they seeing that mm -hmm. they kind of getting robbed. So it's gonna have to be a new platform soon. So I see that you've been slacking on, well not say slacking, but you've been putting the rap game on the back burner to do the acting. Yeah, yes ma'am. So we, everybody knew you from Love and Hip Hop, now you, you're you in what what is it called, Cold and... Windy. Windy. Cold and Windy. <laughs> I don't know why that just flew out of my head. And that's cold and Windy. Number two, I was gonna say Cold and Windy. And Cold, cause at first when I heard the name, I started looking up Cold, C-O-L-D, but it's K-O-L. Yeah. D. And yeah. I'm like, that's different. Yeah. But the first time I saw it is when I saw that clip of you and your girl arguing. I'm like, that's juicy. <laughs> they know how to clip that to make you go watch it, though. Right, right. Because that clip alone made me want to go watch it. And after watching it, I really wanted to slap you. Yeah. <laughs> now it's crazy because you always have your own opinion on your work. Mm -hmm. So you want to hear other people's opinion. You might think that look interesting, like, but it, it might be biased because it's you. Mm -hmm. So to hear other people say that, it's like, damn, like that's dope. They really checking it out. Cause I was, I'm real confident in everything I do. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't ever nervous, but I was eager to see people's response. Like what they gonna say? Like I'm ready for all the backlash if they say it's bad or good mm -hmm. because I'm just working on it. You know what I'm saying? I know I got this shit. I'm just trying to improve and smooth it up. So to hear the back, you know what I'm saying, the feedback. I so love. before they took your page, did you go, because a couple of things I saw, I saw you comment under some of the comments. So did you go down and read all the comments that people was commenting under that post? 
Hell yeah, I was reading. I, I read most of my comments. Most I try to read all of them. All of them. Yeah. Because they were short commenting and talking about a lot of stuff. A lot of people were saying congratulations. Some people was like, oh, he acting? I'm like, but he been acting. People are saying some all sorts of stuff. Yeah. But you did really good on that acting role. Man, um, I got tough skin, man. I've been, I've been in the limelight for a little while now, so... Like anything I, I see, I just you make it into a joke. I take it with a grain of salt. Man. I want to. I want to know how you even found out about the how you go because I, I could have got that bro. <laughs> Damn, nigga, I'm, I'm still I'm hey, still trying to figure it out. My girl, daddy in jail. Hey, he ain't ever showed him on the show. Yet, man. He the OG. I'm I, under them. Damn. Okay. Your yeah, boy could come in. Pop off, hey. pop off the young gen, the young soldier. He's a general. Yeah, you feel me? So, so how did you end up on that show? Man, God, bro, everything that happened to me be God. big. God, mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, man, man, because I ain't never had no agent or no stuff like that. Right. You know? Like this stuff is just blessings. Like these people that encountered me once before in life. And I was like, you just, I just love your energy. You're amazing. And I heard about this opportunity. I think you're great for it. I, I just suggested your name and they was with it. Oh, okay. The last conversation like, I had. Shout out Natasha Ward. That's, That's my old. girl yeah, in, in L.A. She uh, actually put me in my first movie I did. It never came out. And this was the second. And It's, it's been going yeah, it's like been crazy. It's been going. And they called up. Because there's three episodes it. already out. And it airs every Monday. Every uh, Thursday. Every tonight, Thursday. At tonight. 9 o'clock. Every Go Thursday down. at 9. Uh, it comes on all black on Monday because it's right. exclusive with WeTV. So they have to have it out for a certain amount of days before they can oh, release okay. it. Oh, okay. That's what I... Because I, I saw the all black um, promotion. I saw yeah. it said Mondays. That's you can watch I, it live on like uh, Philo, P-H-I-L-O. They have like live cable channels mm -hmm. and stuff. And um, what's the other shit? Um, this is like a cable app. I forget the name of it. I'm curious about something because because whenever you um, act in a role, right, like you just did, do you um, do you actually see the full clip or everything before, or no. you're watching it when we're watching? I'm it? watching it when you listen. I'm gonna tell you some crazy shit. This was this was crazy. See me, I like to anything I do. I like to do it my own unique way. Mm -hmm. So, for instance. When I do get a part, this is my third time doing a movie. Mm -hmm. My second one, my first one that came out. Right, you know. Right. But anyway, I don't read the whole script. Never. I know you told us that last time. I never want to know what's really going all the way go on because I want to be surprised. So you just read your part. And I only read my parts on the days that I do. <laughs> like, I'm not reading ahead. I'm not nothing. Like, I'm just, because it's like... To, rem to memorize it is natural because I've done music for so mm -hmm. long. I can remember the words and the, you know, and then with the motions, that's all a part of, yeah, all that's a part of like entertainment and music to me. So it kind of coincides. But like, as I'm watching this, y'all, when y'all watch it, I watch it. Like, I was watching the show, I was like, this bitch got a nigga in my house. And my girl slapped me. Bah! She's like, that ain't your bitch. Don't be saying that. I was like, uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Right. My daddy called me and said, you gonna let that nigga take your girl on the show. <laughs> nigga, you a sucker. He done took your girl. I was like, what's up? Uh, but it's like, it's cool. It's cool when it's like that, man. And uh, y'all gotta stay tuned. It's juicy. Man, mm -hmm. I, gotta, I gotta just say, man, because I want to get this out because you gotta say oh. this. And uh, I gotta say this, man, Solo. Uh, Solo Lucha, man, when I talked to Walk Like Jordan last time, R.I.P. Two minutes, I'm sorry. R.I.P. Um, he um, basically told me. He said, "Man, solo man, we we been we we back and forth, but well, I ain't messing with him like I was." He say he really liked doing the TV stuff. He yeah. he really knew that you liked doing the TV stuff. Yeah, this dude man. told me this, bro. Yeah, that's a fact, man. It's that was the last thing he told me. He say he really <coughs> he liked doing the TV stuff, man. That's what he really liked doing. You th you, I'm serious. Yeah, that's what he no, told that's me. That's a fact. That's a fact. Man, I've been doing music for so long, and I feel like I just done conquered so many aspects of not as far as the success level I want to reach, but the experience level and the, my passions is depreciating for it because of the, the the way the game is right now. It's cool. I love music. It's my therapy. And, I, and can't none of these niggas fuck with me, so let's get that understood. You niggas can't fuck with me. Let's get that out of there. I'll fuck you up, boy. Period. But... With this, with this entertainment, I just really, I'm trying to show my diversity. Trying to show them that, like, it's more than one, it's a thousand ways it's going to care. You can't stop me in no way. 
You know what I'm saying? I agree. But you know, there's politics in Men, entertain. There's politics in entertainment. entertainment. Period. Okay, well, look, I fuck too many rappers, girls, so they won't let me in. So guess what? I ain't fuck that many actors, girls. So I'm finna try this way. Y'all fuck okay. with me, and we're gonna try it over. I ain't even fuck nobody, girls, no more. I've been chilling now, so y'all ain't gotta worry about me. I ain't your baby mom, baby daddy no more. I'm finna revamp myself. Don't worry about it. I ain't got the blood. Don't be scared. <laughs> I'm not gonna come lay dick on you, bitch. I swear to God, that's boss talk. <laughs> Man, that's great. But you know, I, I when I when I look at look, I see you across here. People don't realize, man, you got so many uh, different elements to you. When I do talk about just the music and just the the um, just the way that, <coughs> that that you came into the game and coming from a, a small town, you know what I'm saying? People looking forward back. You know, it's not like the it's not New York. Yeah, but 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 at the end of the day, you was able to come up out of this thing and blossom to where people see you from everywhere, bro. People know you from everywhere. Correct, and that's hard, bro. Yeah, like like, and you did in a time when it really was a time where. It wasn't a lot of social media like that. Like yeah, that, a, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was a hard grind. Work. That, had, <laughs> that was footwork. Yeah, you talking about Boomtown and everybody on here like, on, I'm just giving, this is an interview, nigga. Come you know on, man. So I know that. These like, folks I'm got like, to the door in a Tesla. I came on come Pit on, and man. Pat. You, was, you were trying to pull up. I was on Pit and Pat. Hey, what we doing? Come on, man. Let me hold a camera. I was selling CD hand to hand. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's what makes you different because that you got to respect that grind. Yeah. You really know what it, and then you was able to bridge the gap with social media as well. Correct. And with television. You, you've been doing a lot, man. Man, I ain't going to lie, man. That was one of the hardest transitions because it wasn't hard because it was hard. It was hard because I was jealous. Yeah. I was like, why the fuck? I didn't have this opportunity because I know my character. If if me as an 18 year old, 16, 17 year old solo Lucci had Instagram, <laughs> let me tell you what. It would have been crazy. Man, I would have been viral. Crazy, and crazy. It, and it's like, it's cool, you know, everything happened for a reason. God, you know, God planned, it, it, everything happened for a reason. So I appreciate everything that happened, that, you know, that I went through. Cause it made me who I am. When you did that with uh, Chris Brown, when you when you did the song with him, like uh, and and just being in the in the in the vicinity, the star power was there. You know what I'm saying? Not the Chris he is today, of course, mm -hmm. but it was still star power there. For and, sure. And you guys, you guys made a great song. But I mean, do you? What do you think about Chris today? Like where he's at now? I'm proud of him. I'm very proud of Chris because. What a lot of people fail to realize and forget about artists and entertainers that we're human beings. You know what I'm saying? We go through a lot. And, uh, like, you know, I want to touch on something that I heard you talking about earlier. And I ain't going to go too deep because it's serious shit, but mental health, right? Yeah. So it's like this. Okay, I don't know. Now, now I, my, I got a white baby mama. I got, I got a lot of white friends, so I'm not a racist. But I'm going to be real with you. It gets to a point to where it's almost like white people use mental health as an as a scapegoat and an excuse. And I'm not saying that it's not a serious subject. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is when you black and you grow up in the hood, sometimes you might come home and the lights out. Right. Might not be no water. Mm -hmm. You might have to heat the water up in the microwave and put it in the damn tub. You might not have no hot water. You might have to peel shit outside. But guess what? Those are trials and tribulations that we go to and we learn how to succumb and get past at a young age. Mm -hmm. And this is the same things that they consider mental health issues. You dig what I'm saying? Not saying that it's the proper way to handle them, but I believe our tribulations is what make us triumph. That's true, but you got to think about it. A kid growing up, not thinking about his mental health issues because if that's all you know, unless you go over somebody else's house and see that they they don't go through what you go through. That's their normal. Exactly. You understand what I exactly. mean? Exactly. That's the and only time it, bu it bugs anybody when they realize that, oh, this isn't normal. Exactly. But I feel like subjects such as mental health are subjects for adults. Mm. Just like sexuality, I believe. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, I don't believe, I believe anybody could be able to have, to be any sexuality they want to be, right? Mm -hmm. But I believe at the end of the day, like, sexuality is exactly that. The root word is what? Sex. Mm -hmm. So to be trying to say if a kid is this or that at this or that age or whatever, you're you're and so now that's pedophilia damn near mm -hmm. because now you're discussing sexuality with a child that hasn't yet Who even, don't even know sexually anything. matured right. yet. You dig what I'm saying? So right. 
because even teenagers, you know, they think they know it all, but they got some more life to live. We change our minds so many times as we get grow up to be adults all the time. Yeah. And you don't want to make life changing um, things where you look back and like, man, I shouldn't have done that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you can't go back and change it because it costs too much to change and so, it. And let me say, it ain't just white people. People in general right now. Right now in 23. It's popular. That's the, that's the, the pop excuse. There it is. That's the excuse to just been going through some shit. And it's like, hey, man, everybody go through some shit. And everybody needs somebody to talk to, maybe to, you know, help them through some times. And it's like, um, you either going to do it. The hard way or the easy way. People want to be victimized. People want to be the victim. They love playing the victim role a lot of times. I'm going to be honest with you. It's easy to sit in that saddle. Um, I'm being real. Like uh, coming up, not having electricity uh, in my house, uh, not having a restroom with running water, having Facts. to go carry water to the house. Um, you, learn, uh, you learn to deal with life on a different That's, level than yeah. others who have these certain mm -hmm. things, these certain stigmas <clears throat> that they call mental illness. So Fact. I agree with you 100%. That's why I told them yeah. when you heard yeah. me talking, I, like, I, come I, on, and man. And I wanted to input, but it wasn't my business. So, but now yeah. we talk. Yeah, but, but it, it's the truth, but, though. But, but it's crazy, man, because at the end of the day, so for the people who really do have mental health issues. You do have you know, some real cases. I, I, I 1 million percent understand, you know, and I, and I you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm conscious of that and I'm not being disrespectful in any way to those people. You know what I'm saying? I understand how it goes. I'm just really, I want people to understand that the power is right here. But I understand that, yes, you know, some people need to just tough it up. You know, um, it's life. Mm -hmm. But then, you got like you said, really but no, help. I understand that too. But I like how you said earlier that some people just need to find somebody to talk to. Yeah. Because you might not have any chemical imbalance in your head. But because of things that you've been holding on for years, it caused you to have all of these different traumatic relationship problems. Facts. You don't know Facts. how to deal with a woman. You don't Facts. know how to whatever. Abuse, but all kind of All sorts of shit. different stuff. So <clears throat> you need to talk to somebody. But then growing up back in the past, we be like, oh, tough it up. You're a wuss, this, 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 this. Yeah. So by people talking about mental illness, the way how they're, they are doing and saying that as a black community, it's okay to go to a counselor, it's okay to talk Correct. to somebody, whether it's a friend yeah. or it's a somebody older or whoever that just you look to up somebody. to, just talk to somebody, get it off your chest. Um, so many people go through things in life and be like, feel, and I guarantee you, this is almost everybody. Yeah. I'm the only one going through this. Yeah, they feel like that, but you're not. But you're not. Yeah, I'm not. I, I think I agree with you about it being. It, it all starts right here. I need. I ain't gonna lie. When I got a when my second baby mama is white. When I really got in a relationship with a white girl, I seen the difference. I was like, damn. Like if the, if it was the 27th and we didn't have real money. I seen her have anxiety attacks and panic. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm just, I'm just, and I'm like, man, calm the fuck down. We finna get this relaxed. That's part of my boy. He coming. Uh, relax. We gonna get it. I never, I never, I've been, I've been used to that. Like the day before getting the rent money or, you know what I'm saying? A couple of days late, whatever the fuck. I'm not panicking, but I actually seen that it was a real issue. I'm like, damn, people like this? Like, I don't panic under pressure. But mm -hmm. obviously, as people are, and for those people, I pray they get all the help they need, you know. But any, any like, my kids and stuff, I try to raise them to be strong mentally to the point to where we try to tame it. I, you know, we can't help everything. Some things are medical issues, like you were talking about, but Does, I try um, to keep them strong. Do anybody ever, because even in your career coming up, because a lot of times you be always dating white girls, right? <laughs> do any of I'm just asking because you know how this, this generation <laughs> this be generation be shit. like they right why are you always dating white girls why don't you ever date black girls why do what, did yeah. I, I hear people say that all the time especially with celebrities with football players with all of these different people so I I have you right here so yeah. I'm asking you well one thing about me oh um, they know I don't discriminate and I don't hate. You know, I, don't, I, I got them all shades. I done had them all flavors, all nationalities, all ages. You know, not too many sizes. We ain't going too big, but goddamn it, you get the picture. <laughs> what I'm saying is this. I don't discriminate, man. I like what I like, and I'm not going to let nobody change my mind. 
Now, black girls, a lot of black girls attack me on my post. If I ever post a white girl, you always got some snow bunnies, some white bitches. But it's like, bitch, you didn't say that when I had them seven black girls on here the other day. Mm-hmm. Ain't not one white girl come over here and say, why you got all those black girls when you're supposed to like white girls? Right. I made it openly public that I like white girls, too. Mm-hmm. I really, Spanish is my favorite women. So oh. let's get it understood. I love Spanish women. Well, I love my girl. Uh, what I like right now is what I got. <laughs> I like what I got. And you know what I'm saying, when I'm liking what I'm shit, that's what I'm liking on. Okay, good. Cool. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to be real with you, man. When I seen you, and I don't hope your girl don't see this episode, when I seen you in, in L.A., when you left me from this interview, and Ooh. at night you had a you had a free show going Come on. Come on, all man. Time. You know I get that. Boy, hey, y'all, boy. y'all subscribe to my OnlyFans, too. I said, my boy, yeah. oh, you got OnlyFans? What? <laughs> it was on the storyline. It be on storyline. I said, yeah. Them, they love him. Them women love Solo Lucha, and that's what, and that's what another thing. Walk like Jordan tell me. Yeah. He like, man, the girls boy, he, love him, man. He this. can go he anywhere. Said, they don't love bring him. No more, don't bring no more females to my house. I said, man, you want to be selling it, man? What you want to do? I'm gonna slay that motherfucker, cocky spaniel. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, that bitch is going to go. How many <laughs> kids do you have? Hey, <laughs> how many children do you have? I got three kids. Oh, that's it? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta ask you. I, I really want to ask you about you know with with the way that Fit and all been doing. You know, uh, people, yeah. man. I just want you to just kind of touch on that. Uh, Big Scar R.I.P. Against the Boo R.I.P. You hear all these alleged. Yeah. And I'm just trying to understand, you know, what you think about it because you're a guy that's an entertainer like these people that I'm, you know, you really get to hear about the entertainers, but it's really more. It's really more people. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this. I feel like, you know, people that know me, they know I'm a rock star. You know what I'm saying? I, I've definitely partaken in my first share of partying. You know what I'm saying? I partaking in my first share of partying. And, uh, man, you know, I just feel like it's in a generation where shit that wasn't cool before is cool now. Like, life-threatening drugs, like doing life-threatening shit wasn't cool when I was, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I just feel like, you know, I lost a brother to that, you know? Really? Yeah. Long live Baby J. Rest in peace, Baby J, man. I lost my brother, man, and couple years back, uh, like two, three, four days before Christmas. So, man, I just, I'm just so anti that bullshit, man. Well, I, so, so how, how do you, you, I mean, how do they administer it to you, though? Know? I don't know nothing about, about this no more. I'm kind of out the loop, you know what I'm saying? How do, I mean, is it in a pill form? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is it, is it laced in, they, in whatever they want to lace know, it in? You know, they might throw it in that cup. You know, no, 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 no. They don't work like that? I don't know what the fuck they doing with it, but I know it's killing they dumb ass. That's what I see. And they need to stop. You know, I ain't an investigator. I ain't heard the goddamn get this. No, nah, I'm trying to figure out how it happened, you I know. I mean, I'm pretty <laughs> sure they doing it a couple different ways. You feel <laughs> You understand me? But goddamn, they doing too much. But E, they got to stop. The thing that I really, you know, I trip off of is, you know, you know, when you be out at the nightclub back in the days, you know, girls yeah. worry about you slipping something in their drink. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be, being real, like yeah, dudes fact. or whoever, fact. niggas getting robbed. I heard, uh, I think it was Cardi B or somebody talking about putting something in people's drinks and, you know, this I'm then, you know, getting, yeah. getting them for their money when she was in a strip club. Oh, yeah, finesse. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's doing all kind of hustles out here. Yeah, so, to get but, but the fitting all is another level. You know what they I'm saying? voluntarily doing that motherfucker, you hear me? Yeah, it's yeah. another level, bro. Yeah. Hey man, I just I just, you know, anybody who I heard it's like it's some shit you gotta wing out, you feel what I'm saying? So whatever they doing, man, you know, basically, basically you know what's going on, man. Man. <laughs> you know what it is, man. Basically. They gotta stop. So okay. So R. Kelly gets uh cause that's your boy. Uh, he gets uh, they give him a, a, a thirty pop. Did they? I think it was twenty or thirty pop. Damn. It was a thirty pop, and you used to live with him, right? That's my boy. Man. Okay, uh, you think that he'll ever come home? Or do you think he deserved to come home? Or I don't what the man, hell, you know, man? man? I mean, I hey man, my eyes they know. See, then they, they showed me the man don't deserve to never come home. So yeah. I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've never seen a man do shit that where, that where he didn't never deserve to come home. Yeah, that's hard. That's tough. Man. But you know, I mean, hey, I, I, at this point, bro, you got to pray for him because I got, I can't really, I can't really comment on it. I got, I got, I ain't got no horse in this race. It, it, it's hard. It's to, hard cause, too. Because you see a person who, 
basically, you know, I just started listening to the boy in the nineties, early nineties. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and and, and to see this right here happen, I never would have thought. Yeah. But that's then, like, I wouldn't have thought on Bill Cosby either. I, not, I thought he was really like the Huxtable. I thought this nigga was a doctor and what nothing going on. I'm just being real. You didn't see that coming. But then you look and then they start I mean, bringing I'm going to tell you something, man. When you got a niche for women, you can tell what niggas don't. And you know, and they don't, don't surprise you after that. The shit they do won't surprise you. You like, this nigga can't be no player, cuz. Like, this nigga ain't no pimp no hole in there. This nigga don't know how to, like, handle no bitch. Like, he, you wear a sweater, goddamn me, with the woo You ain't handling, like, I ain't saying you ain't tough, bitch, cuz you've been famous for a while. You probably know how to, but you know, something, it's different. He ain't never different really, ways to do it. He like, probably you know, never had If you ain't to. did it broke, you don't know how to do it with something. You That's get what real. I'm saying? That's like, real. I done did it with zero dollars. I done had to find it, so imagine with the money. She for sure come with me. You yeah. did it. I'm get your paper. Yeah, no, you right. Yeah, you you're right. Man, like I said, I, I just really be tripping off all the stuff because you relate. Like I said, I look at things that you was affiliated with that didn't happen, um, but you one of them ones that I ain't going to lie. I don't ever know how you going to come to be on this TV show now. <laughs> yeah. I'm being real. Like, I see you in the bed most of the time with the girl. That's, that's the first thing he said. Hey. That's why y'all hate. That's the first thing he said. I like that show. Yeah. Like they, they're in the bed every time they come on. But that's where a nigga really want to be. Yeah, but, it, but yeah. they not no power, business though. Business they, not, they not no hey, power hey. doing all them... But let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you some real shit. So, that show was shot on Stars. It was mm -hmm. shot by AMC, the movie people. Stars is stars can do you can really have sex on that motherfucker really? it's consensual whatever they do on earth we gotta have an intimacy coach and in our shit like you can't even get between a girl legs on, on we TV like it's a lot of little shit I was gonna do this bitch stop playing on me you know what I'm saying so, but you know they wouldn't let us they, we had an intimacy coach they had to ask each and that girl married mm. by the way that I'm in a that I'm a, oh wow yeah she married so I was trying to be respectful that's you know, good whatever. how does your how, your significant other right uh huh um, how does she feel about those those I mean, roles? I mean, she, she know what's going on. I just go and show her the real deal. <laughs> she, she get the children. I go. And so, squat. in your role that you have now as um, pop, yep, pop off, pop off, pop um, off, pop off. Um, how far is this from the real you? It ain't far. It ain't. It far. definitely been a past life me. Some of them, my, 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 my dad and my brothers said, boy, they, they must have knew you when they came. You going you gonna to fuck that whole entire car. <laughs> I was like, listen, that's the old me, man. You feel me? I've been through a lot of stages in life before I bossed up. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, it's, it's experiences. But it definitely went too hard to uh, Cause, portray. Because we had discussions um, in a part, and we was like, um, she shouldn't have given him that key. That's what I was saying. She shouldn't have given him that key. Gave that key. You get and, beat up. She ain't giving that shit. What's she going to do? That's right. right. That's what I'm like, she should have hit it. She should have took it and no, threw it away. I say, man, that man should have took that key and went on. She should have got out the way because that's a man. And guess Quit what? If you don't want to be with him, go on, on, on. Or give me the keys. But guess what? But he could have been, but he could have been, he could have been stalking. Stalker trying to come out and want to be there. Where was we at? <laughs> I'm talking to the bed and get up. I'm talking the clothes off. You deserve that car, man. nigga. After that all that work, what nigga. Come on, man. Yeah, I'm glad on. she did what she did, though. What's she talking about? Just she taping, the, uh, taping it all the damn dust. That's dirty. She's gonna throw a nigga away. <laughs> but you know, you did. I'm not going to say. I'm team against all the kids. I'm not going to say. I'm like, they teamed up. And they did what they did. That's all I'm gonna say. No, hey, all I'm gonna say is stay tuned because this shit ain't over yet. <laughs> wow. I, so yeah, uh, and that, that's, my name ain't pop off for no reason. So uh, is there another <laughs> season coming, or is this is is it just just the first of many, or what? You gotta stay tuned. Damn, man. That's how I don't like. Hey. I don't like really interviewing dudes that got something going because when y'all got <laughs> y'all didn't go on to tell what's going on with the situation. Hey, man, just stay tuned. Stay tuned. I promise you, it's gonna get greater later. Hey, you know what's crazy? You said power. I wouldn't have looked at. I was looking at the show and I went and looked at like the first seasons of Power. I didn't realize how long Power been out because it seemed yes. so fresh and new. If you because look at the really first good. seasons, it don't look like it look right now. Yeah. You're like, wow, I was best in, I was invested into this. Mm -hmm. And as I'm seeing this show unfold, I'm like, it's giving me vibes of something that could just grow greater. Mm -hmm. People are genuinely liking this. Like I'm going out and I'm used to people stopping me like, you the dude from Love and Hip Hop or Solo Lucha, you got Now they recognize you Now they this. like, I'll just send you on Cold and Wendy. You done took that girl car. I was like, okay, that's hard because it's, you know, 
it's a hard, you know, it's hard to live up to when you reach so high heights, you know, mm -hmm. like 20 million views a week, Love Hip Hop, right. you know what I'm saying? I'm doing videos, 40 million views rapping. Now you're trying to top now, it. Now I'm trying to top it, and it's a whole new lane, so it's mm -hmm. like I'm, I'm challenging myself at the same time, I'm not afraid of the challenge, and I know I can accomplish it, it's just, it's fun to, to watch it. And it's blossom, different because you know when saying? I think about Love and Hip Hop, I think about a lot of impromptu, what you saying, they don't tell you what to say, they don't tell you what to do. Correct. Just put you in a room and like let it unfold. So here is something totally different. You have scripts, you're reading, you're, you know, you're doing practice, you're doing all these runs and all yeah. of that. So Monologues and shit. This is, yeah. I, you love it? I love it. I always, I'm, the, I'm always been the person that want to prove people wrong. Like I wanna be a nigga that walk in with all these face tests and diamonds in my mouth and shit and talk like this. Hey my nigga, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, roll the back wood, Mac. And then it come in, uh, yes sir, I'm here for the interview. And then I'ma hit your ass with some with some with some lingo and some motherfucking <laughs> some literacy mm -hmm. that you didn't expect to come out of my mouth. I wanna show you, I really wanna yeah, do Yeah, because it. that's what I was wondering, like what kind of role I wanna would do you wanna do that would be happiness. totally Pursuit okay, of happiness, gotcha. John Q. Got it. Some shit from real life. Got it. I want some shit that's gonna hit your heart. I want to show got people it. that I can really tap in to the to emotions. You know what I'm saying? It's the energy. You got to know yeah. how to tap in. And because right now you have this thug thing going on. That's easy though, because that's too much like reality. Right. I want to do something completely out the box, and I'm just waiting on one of these Sensitive. directors to give me a. a, a uh, you know what I'm saying? The opportunity. Well, mm -hmm. I know one thing you're gonna have to do if you really want to get a big road. You gotta put that dress on and that you makeup on. <laughs> I'm just being real. Or I can do a nigga head like Will Smith and slap the shit out of him. Yeah, pick one. <laughs> so, <laughs> you talking about yeah. so you so that's you that's a role that you would hey, never play. Hey, look, one thing I'm. A, you would I never see, play I, that role. I would never in a million years play wow. any. No matter how much money is offered. Let me tell you, ma'am. I got two sons, and and I don't have like I said, I don't have nothing against the LGBT. To all them loves community, but in my household, I preach pro pro uh, pro making babies, you know what I'm mm -hmm. <laughs> procreation, baby. Yeah, procreation. Yeah. Yeah. I, I teach pro. You know what I'm saying? Anything else is not procreation because you can't create a child without a man and a woman. So I. I, I a lot of them in Hollywood say that they had to. They had to. They I mean, offer that like that. They like, I mean, should like they just came out the blue. Go it had all that money to do with nothing. They, they just go, say, put this dress on. It, like what? And hey, Dave Chappelle did it. No, he didn't do oh, it. Okay, Dave Chappelle ain't no real nigga to me. No, what you talking about? I can tell you that. Hey, you're not, you're I can not tell you going. that much. You're not going. I can tell you that for a fact. <laughs> That's real. So um, I got a question. Go ahead, babe. Um, because I know you believe in God. And um, if you had to, because I know you went on another podcast before. And <laughs> <laughs> because that person didn't believe in God, you walked off. Yeah. If you had to do it again, would you do it? Do the same thing? A million times over. Because that wasn't a thought. That wasn't something I did from a thought. That was something I did from instincts. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody punched me. I'm gonna punch your head back. Mm -hmm. That was just but something. That, give, give him the shout out. The Dallas. Who, who, that who, was what? Big D. Mogul Media. Mogul Media. But the reason Would why you ever I go asked, back on his show? Right. He said no. Boss talk. <laughs> but the reason why I asked, because we've I, we've mentioned that topic on the set before, and what is said is, what did you say about um. Well, you know, me and Big D go back and forth because I feel like I'm a I'm the type of guy that can handle those conversations. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I'm very sure of who I am and who I believe in. So those are things that I, I step up to the plate on because I know the reason why I feel the way I feel about the God that I serve. Correct. And him, me and him can do this all day. And to be that and, light. Yeah, well, I definitely got to be that light. Uh, you got to be a light in the midst of any darkness. So Correct. if he's dark, then I would be wrong not to be that light in the midst of him. Okay, and also, I'm just going to tell you something, but at the same time, you, it's like, you can understand that, and it's a time and place for everything, though. Like, you and your woman, you can understand what she's saying, but if she said it at the wrong time, you might react a certain way. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. we can talk about something, but if it's if it's that, don't put me on the spot in front of the world to I defend mean. something that I grew up so passionately believing in. Correct. Because I'm gonna react passionately. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's something like that, that's like my woman do something, you know it might be disrespectful. Don't talk to me about it in front of your friends, bitch, because I might talk to you crazy. Yeah. I ain't going to call you no bitch because I've been trying to work on calling bitches <laughs> bitches. But I'm saying I might react the way that you might feel disrespectful, but I feel disrespected. 
I think I think anytime you're dealing with spirituality, it's a very touchy subject. A lot of times they tell you don't bring it up uh, on the job, mm-hmm. <laughs> but I still do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I love God. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Say, so I can't really yeah, not man. talk about Him no matter where I'm at. Say that. I'm being Better. real because you might need Him no matter where you're mm-hmm. at. You Better. know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Better. so I'm always bring Him up. And if you don't talk to me about Him, I might think you the Antichrist. I don't Come know. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to help people. I here. feel like if you don't just just let me talk, just shut the fuck up, and then, or, <laughs> or just like you ain't got to not. I mean, you ain't got to believe what I believe, but don't tell me the other shit. Yeah, and, yeah. And, or if you ain't comfortable, I stop talking about what I'm talking about. You feel me? That's yeah, how I yeah. believe. You feel me? But because I just understand how the world is, it's it's so sensitive right now, and it's like I, I at, at first it bothered me, but it's like what you gonna do? Cry about it? I'm used to it, so you gotta just adapt. I got I gotta mm-hmm. ask you about a, a takeoff. You know, he died and got killed in in H Town. Yeah. Um, like um, out here, do you? Some say gambling. We just allege it. I don't know none of these folk business, but. Um, Late at night, being out, you a party animal. I seen your Instagram. You know what I'm saying? You out there late. Yeah. Uh, you you always showing it live or your story at night. You might show it the next day, but you definitely. Of course. It's there you night. go. I there know you go. Party there, you go. Hey, there, you go. You know there you go. There you go. Hey, yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. So 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 I mean, like like uh, how how important is it to be on your p's and q's out there, man, at night like that? Man, I feel like uh, at the end of the day, man. If you a real screen nigga, man, or you just really came from the hood, because it's a lot of dudes that's from the hood, but they can be honorable, good look, good guys. You just respect mm-hmm. them like you just know he a hood dude. You feel me? I feel like you just gotta know it's it's certain things. Though, as a baby, they can put close to a house number and say hot, hot. In the streets, it's the same shit. It's a conscience. It's a subconscious that you don't even really gotta learn. You know when you do it. Nah, you don't supposed to do that shit. Or you know when you hear it and it's like some shit you just supposed to know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some shit you just gotta know, man. Let me ask you this about checking in when you get to certain cities. Um, how do you feel about the check-in code or, or, or whatever you want to call it? I feel like if you portray yourself a certain way, you need to follow the guidelines. Uh-huh. If you coming out on some game bank shit, it's a chain of command. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like if you not this day like that, if you is, then do it, do it come with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And as far as like protecting yourself as an artist, like I just always advise people like I me and I was and shout out shout out to Princess Dolly, man. Princess Dolly in this the one, house. Yes, yeah, sir. This one of the new additions to Four Money. Four Money to Winning Collection. Princess Dolly, hottest artist coming out of Dallas in 2023. I promise you. I ain't just talking, I didn't say, see, this where they be fucking up. People saying my black owned business. Oh, the best female rapper. I didn't say no female, none of that shit. I said the best artist. In Dallas, in 23. Princess Dallas, she coming Man. up. Tough. I, I can't and wait. I when when, when we going to hear some music? When, when we stop, I got you. All right, we I put need, some on the, on the, on the, you know what I'm saying, on the wood. We put it on there. Put it behind me. I, I really, like I said, I, I really like the way you, you you know, you you read. So how did you even link? When did you decide that you're going to start dealing with artists? Because when you were no, last on, time, before you were like. Before you, I want to touch back on the topic that you already um you want to go back? Yeah, just, just for a little bit. No, you, we were talking about how careful you have to be out here in the streets Correct. and stuff like that. Correct. But um, when I think about PBM Rock in California, at okay, do you actually like speak to your significant other and let her know, okay, these are the rules and regulations. You can't do this, <coughs> you can't do that. And, you know, because most of the time what I realize about street guys, they don't normally talk to street girls. Yeah, exactly. But you got to know when it's a real street guy, it's going to down there be uh, NDA. It's going to be, he's going to give you a disclosure. You're going to mm-hmm. know because I know what I'm getting into. I know what I'm into. Mm-hmm. So I know what to disclose to the person I'm with because the last thing I want is a surprise. You feel what I'm saying? That's just like, for instance, I was at the studio the other day with my artist Dolly. Mm-hmm. It's a dude now. He was excited. He was like, man, you sold a little cheap. We'll be chilling. We'll be, we'll be working. He got too excited. He started recording. I don't mind you recording, but if I see you on the social media platform you recording on right then, I know you plan on posting this right now. You could yeah, the next I thing you like post. I said, hey, bro, don't do that. He, de- he he took the video. I said, now go delete that. He deleted it. She was right there. I said, don't do that while we right here. Mm-hmm. We're not doing none of that. At the end of the day, I don't even lead the type of life where I'm having no big beef or no shootouts right. with niggas right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm but you don't on. ever know who want to deal with clout. Yeah, exactly, man. It's like, People get too comfortable. Mm-hmm. They get to a certain point and they're like, oh, but 
You can't never get too comfortable, man. Yeah, I tell people that all the time. That Some people. Luther King, man. Mm -hmm. This motherfucker wanted peace. Yeah. Malcolm X was trying to kill you all. <laughs> Fuck them all. You hear me? By any means necessary, nigga. Malcolm X talking about I had a dream. You better wake your ass up. Because mm -hmm. these folks trying to kill you, my boy. Mm -hmm. These folks got to wake up. And and I, I just pray protection over them. Because they got, because all of them ain't got sense. Yeah. That's real. That's it. That's real. I just, like I said, when I, when I, uh, Think about the things that you, you know, people that came into my, my show flew in from New York and I didn't ever know that your name was going to pop up, but a dude came in here, <laughs> listen, man, this dude came into my show. I didn't know how to take him. He was, he used to be with Takashi 6 9 <laughs> and I really was looking like, what do you want to come on my Before show you, for? Yeah. And then he, he flew all the way down here. He had been trying to get on this show for months. I didn't know what he wanted. But the dude came in here and he was a solid dude. Yeah. From really. what I what I nah, dealt with, is. what I felt, he seemed solid. And he seemed like a genuine person. Thanks. But the story that he told about you was he said he got shot, I think it was four times. And after he got shot, when he was rehabilitating himself up through the hospital and through different trials and tribulations, he says he didn't have nothing. And he run into Solo Lucha, and Solo Lucha gave him a couple thousand dollars to put him back on his feet. Thanks. And with no repercussion, just bam. Facts. How do you even run into this dude? And what the hell are you from Fort Worth? What the <laughs> hell is you doing out in California uh, with a, uh, what What do you call it? With yeah, somebody? Nah, Bar and Linda playing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I had, uh, I linked up with my boy TMG Fresh. That's just on the side of my face, TMG. Okay. Me and my boy started a label together, uh, along with this dude named Sincer. And Alshon was, he, Alshon a Hoover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They nine dudes who. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm four trade gangster crib. Okay, and so like you know the, the in L. A. The they politics is doing. different, but at this time I was up like a couple million dollars. Okay, mm -hmm. I stayed next door to Jay Leno at this exact moment when I stuff here. Like when he was, <laughs> I had so many cars in my house. Jay Leno was coming next door asking what kind of cars did me and my partners have, like Brabus, Benz, is it like exclusive mm -hmm. shit? But anyway, long story short, boom. Uh, what we talking about? What uh, who name? Six nine. Six, Not, I mean, oh, uh, uh, Alshon. Alshon. So Alshon was um, one of the one of my affiliates, right? Like hood homeboy. Like we was all we all kind of carried ourselves up at echelon, but we was hood. Two of us was hood niggas. One was not. Okay. But so we tried to stay in contact with our. You know, we want to show our people the shit mm -hmm. too. They was like. We made them feel like security, but they really wasn't no security, but just to help a hood in there and give your people some paper, put some paper in their pocket. Right. So it was, it was my boy Big Nate, shout out Big Nate, and then Alshon, but Alshon rapped. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to be a rapper, he was coming around, and one of my partners that's not really that hood, he kind of wasn't too comfortable with Alshon being around, because Alshon, let me get it straight, he about 6'7 now. 6'9. Yeah. Six, 6'9. Nine. Six, nine. This nigga 6'9, 200 something pounds. When I met this nigga, he a hood. They called him Mr. Thousand Fades, because he caught over a thousand fights in Cali. Mm. With different sets, different games. So when he met me, he come around me and you know, I just, nigga, I'm Lucci, bitch. I don't care if you a thousand feet tall, bitch. I'm walking that motherfucker like my dick bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in that motherfucker not to have my confidence. And he was just like, bro, I like this nigga. Even the person that brought him there, he got closer with me than them. Mm. And it kind of caused some friction. But I, I mean, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. Mm -hmm. So it got to the point to where basically the rich niggas, that's been rich, because we had just got rich at the time. They didn't want them around. And they kind of sent them back to Hoover. They When he went home, they just kind of stopped answering the phone and shit. And I'm like, man, I ain't no nigga like that. Like, I don't do that type of shit. Mm -hmm. So I got in my Bentley truck, and I drove to Hoover, mm -hmm. to the hood, to his block, mm -hmm. looking for him. On my way to Hoover, somebody tried to run, like they tried to run into me. I pulled over, finna get out of Kester Fay, and it was Big Nate, my homeboy. He said, I know ain't nobody no better trouble too, man. He said, I was fucking with you. But he said, boy, you crazy, you know where you at? Bitch, you playing with me. I was on that. But I went to my boy grandma's house and picked him up. He said, bro, I really want to do the rap shit. I can't afford to get my video shot, boom, 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 all this. I'll just get him down, bro. Say less, bro. It wasn't, I'm gonna give it to a stripper or something anyway. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I just skinned him down. He did his thing. Next thing I know, it was probably about a month or two later. He's like, bro, 6 9 just contacted me from World Star, helping him get a record down. I'm like, bitch, hold on. I've been doing all this. <laughs> and I just got you a couple thousand bitches. You just got a record deal that uh -huh. fast, bro. That shit tripped me out. Mm -hmm. But like, I knew I had a real nigga inside. I was like, well, at least I know. 
Cuz, Cuz ain't gonna never forget <laughs> Lucy. That's my bro, man. And he never did because he mentioned it on the and show. And that might be the reason why he wanted to get on the show so That's bad. That's 100%. I'm telling right. you. When you said he cut that, you all like, <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Lucy, I got to go over there. That's why it's good things going on no, with Lucy. So, solo, man. No, it's just like, it's wonderful to know that, that you is out here doing stuff from the heart even when you get to bread. Thanks. A lot of folks change on people and don't even stay 100 like that. Oh. So, that's the thing. That's why God continues to bless you, bro. He going to continue to bless you, too. I appreciate Because you're always trying to do right by him. That's, that's what right. really matter, bro. That's right. You know, we had these long conversations. I mean, you know, like I said, man, this this boss talk went on. We got the plaque. Everybody know we went over 100,000. <laughs> Don't have nothing to do with nothing. Just come out with it. We got the plaque, so you know it's official, you know. So you know you got, anytime you come through, you got to come through and see us. You can't be around, running around here, uh, you know, forgetting about us for a year, right? Man, I can't mm -hmm. know. You know, did a whole whole TV series all in Atlanta. I, I think I seen it in California. I had to get y'all some shit to ask questions about it. No, we it don't matter. Come. We still, we gonna, you got to co-host. You could do anything oh, over yeah. in there, man. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We could have did this with Al Shani. He could have told you about it. Man, you remember when I got shot and you helped me? I'm like, yeah, this is hey, good. But guess what? We gonna be back talk about how you seen Princess Dolly Bay in the back. Come on, come here. Yeah, you come oh, here. you for the put in line come right here, a little man. bit. Come on, come on. So come on. yeah, okay. Hey, put let these me, on. Just introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. Get yeah, let's 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 see. Let, 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 yeah, okay. Big yeah, let me <laughs> put the, put the song on because any woman to get on here got to drop sixteen bars. No, I'm just kidding. Let's do it. <laughs> she oh, she girl. ready? She in here? Yeah, she said, let's do nah, it. Nah, nah, man. Now nah, we ain't got the time right now. I ain't gonna do you like that because I know you'll be done. So, so you are uh, you you. How did you end up meeting uh Mr. Solo Lucci? Through Instagram. Through Instagram? Mm -hmm. and Shout how out to Supreme. Bob. Bob, Bob Supreme. Supreme. He pointed me in her direction. Wow. And he knew I had the power to, to do To help. Up. Yeah. So 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 how, how long have you been doing music? Um, two years consistently. That's hard. And yeah. and, and and did you ever think you'd be dealing with uh did you ever think you'd be dealing with uh, uh, Solo Lucci? You no. know, had you had you seen him on Love and Hip Hop and yes. all that stuff? All the that's crazy, right? Yeah, man. For you guys to be done linked up, man. So I think that's that's hard, man. I think that's mm -hmm. one of the most courageous things, man. For God to bless you and you be able to link with a dude who really been in, you know, uh, been been in been in uh, been in the limelight. life. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So I just definitely want to say, man, thank you uh, for even coming over here, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And and I definitely uh, know that Solo Lucha is one of them guys that uh, he ain't gonna stir you wrong. If he do, call me. My number don't change. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So um, just um, Solo, you gotta come back up here because I gotta end this, man. You can't just walk Let's off. Let's end the play of her song. Man, I don't even. Uh, if y'all want your wizard buzzer, man. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 I will be honest with you. He gonna have to bring you back so we can really okay. go down through Go there, right. cause that that way we can get it done, uh, man. Like I say, uh, solo. Don't play me, man. Don't stay gone long. Got got to call me. No, nah, let's do it. But it, and, and we can we can hang out, man. We uh, you got I got I got to see how that. I don't that, want you outside. Don't give me she crazy, man. I know she's you know, Jamaican. Jamaican. There it is. Yeah. Man. But but I can tell you right now, man. Uh, I like what you're doing, man. What's the name of your label? Have you even created? Foreign Money. Foreign Money, the winning collection. Foreign Money. Okay. Yes, sir. We different. Wow, man. Well, man, hey, man. Only artists. Only artists. Princess Dolly. All yeah. right, man. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you, man, for showing love to the show. You always do, man. Um, how can people get a hold to you? I got to say that. You ain't got no Instagram. Don't even man, they done kicked me off Instagram. I'm slanging too much dick and swap too much spit. I'm going to tell you what's going on. It's all good, though. Solo Lucha on all platforms. Check me out. Foreign Money, the label, man. Check me out every Thursday at 9 p.m. Central on Cold and Windy on WeTV. You can also check me out on Tubi at Chasing the Ghost. Or you can go to VH1 and check me out on Loving Hip Hop Season 4 and 5. Or you can goddamn it slide your baby mama demon. She look like something I probably done slid in on. <laughs> hey, it's up. Your baby mama, baby daddy, Mr. Loving Hip Hop. Hey, shout out Princess Dolly. Follow on all platforms. What is the Princess? Princess Dolly, baby. Princess Dolly, baby. What's your little ad that you be saying? Ow, hey, yeah, man. Okay, what up? Check it, man. Hey, man, Solo Lucci. Mr. Maker, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. Well, the boss is talking. Man. And we out. <laughs>